uh, thousands, uh, if not hundreds of thousands of Georgians live in Moscow alone. They have relatives back home. Now, the official line is that the lives of Georgians are bound to get more difficult. Now, what does that mean? Well, actually, the breaking of the relations is a political move with actual little consequences uh, to the lives of the ordinary people. So probably there will be more problems with visa. Some people should prove that their capitals are not criminal capitals. But, well, no uh, scaled campaign I expected, I think. So because the absence of diplomatic relations doesn't mean the absence of legal right to stay. Mm -hmm. So probably there will be the checking of the legal right of uh, those Georgians who are there, who are living in Moscow. But probably that's, uh, all the moves are limited just to this, uh, well, to this rule and to this possibility. Well, you can imagine that uh, counselor services will stay um, in place, so uh, there shouldn't be a problem about that. But what, let's talk about what does this move uh, mean for Georgia itself in terms of business, economic ties? Well, you see, business and economic ties were broken, uh, mostly broken two years ago. Uh, there is no Georgian wine in Russia. It's, this is the main uh, item of uh, Georgian export. Uh, there are few of us Georgian goods here. And actually, well, if we discuss the move itself of the, previous, the breaking of the diplomatic relations, actually uh, this decision is made because when Saakashvili declared that he considers himself in state of foreign Russia, it was on the second day of the conflict. That actually meant that, uh, that he uh, broke uh, broken the diplomatic relations at uh, this very moment. So, uh, so actually, it's just uh, de facto, uh, just uh, adjusting the things de facto with the the euro with the things that they are de facto. What can be done? What can uh, two countries, the leaders, the people do to to mend the relations? Well, I think this is not a problem for the current generation. Next generation should come, because the war is very serious thing, and uh, people are divided. Russia choose the. Uh, side of the uh, South Ossetia and Abkhazia choose the side of their own citizens, and it wasn't Russia who started the war. So this is the problem that probably uh, won't be decided uh, for the current 10 or 20 years. So my, qu quite a lot of things should change like before. Any, any advice for, for our leaders there who are, who are dealing with this very complex situation? Well, it seems that uh, it's, well, Georgia started the situation, so it's up to Georgia to finish it. Now this telemate will continue on the Georgian direction. That means that, well, Saakashvili is in a uh, very hard position. He can't leave and he can't stay at the same, same time. This is a problem for the West because he, he, this is the leader who made a tremendous mistake, but he, this is the leader, mm -hmm. uh, but he's, uh, uh, he's, he's getting out of stage now will be the, just the admittance of the defeat of the West in this uh, conflict. Mm -hmm. So this is a problem. And probably, uh, well, I don't expect uh, very well, strong developments in the next few days, actually. Well, problem. the top story today is that Georgia is breaking off those diplomatic ties. Let's, let's go back to the situation that uh, Georgians living in Russia are left with. What did you mean when you said that they may have legal problems? Well, uh, quite a lot of Georgians are not uh, having Russian passports. They're having Georgian passports and they must have visas in their Georgian passports. So that means that uh, quite a lot of them are not have legal visas and uh, have uh, no legal status to confirm that they're staying here in accordance with Russian laws. So probably this will be checked. Are you basically saying that it's a wake-up call for, for Georgians living in Russia? Well, uh, I think that Russia is not in, well, it's not time for sc any scaled campaigns. The uh, situation going, uh, already had gone quite sharp and uh, Russian authorities would try to, well, not to sharpen the situation quite a lot. So I expect that the policy would be quite soft and limited to the Russian law.